cobra. Widely regarded as the most dangerous cobra species in Africa. Also known as the yellow or copper cobra, this species ranges from butter yellow to dark brown. Though it inhabits a smaller geographical range than most African cobras, it thrives in a variety of habitats and has been found in altitudes as high as 2,500 meters above sea level. In these wetlands, they prey on flightless birds, rodents, amphibians, and other snakes. In spring, during the months of September and October, they become more active, more aggressive. Breeding season. Mating becomes a deadly dance. An older suitor may well be looking for a meal. They produce a syrupy neurotoxic venom, drop for drop, the most potent of all African cobra species. If bitten, assisted respiration and at least 10 vials of antivenom are required for treatment. Symptoms include weakened muscle control, slurred speech and ultimately respiratory failure. Without treatment, the victim could die within just 30 minutes. And here we go. I've just found the track of the snake. You lose the track here, but here I pick it up again. You can see once again how the snake's pushed off. Clear sign of a snake moving. Look at this. Clear indentation of a fat snake. I'd say at least this thick have gone down here. Could be a Cape Cobra or a mole snake. Many have mistaken cobras for mole snakes and vice versa. Countless mole snakes have been needlessly killed. Many humans have suffered potentially fatal bites. With snakes, one cannot afford to make a mistake. Look at that beautiful hood that it's making. Exactly what I've been looking for. Cape Cobra, a beautiful salmon color. These Cape Cobras are the most venomous cobra found in Africa almost equal to the venom of a black mamba. I'm quite excited about this, because I want to try and safely put the snake into a state of thanatosis. <laughs> Incredibly potent neurotoxic venom. Only 15 milligrams of it's needed to kill a fully grown adult. Now this snake this size could easily produce up to 200 and 250 milligrams of venom. So, comfortably it could kill up to 10 adults, easily. And that venom hits your nervous systems and shuts everything down and you start struggling to breathe and eventually you die from respiratory failure. Not incredibly painful, but a very, very scary bite. He's smelling me. He's telling me, don't hurt me. Well, look at that, when I give him a gentle rub, there's no aggression. He's not opening his mouth to try and bite me. I'm tickling him. Look at that. Just a bit of a tickle along the spine. Potent enough venom to kill a buffalo, but gentle like a kitten. It's just amazing. They're so misinterpreted, these snakes. People just think they're pure evil and dangerous. 
Yes, they have a very potent venom that can kill very easily, but they don't want to waste that venom. It's very important to them. They use that to kill all kinds of rodents and things out here, so they don't want to waste their venom on me. So only as a last resort, if I went in here now with aggression and I hurt him, then he will bite me. But if something attacked me and hurt me with the aggression, I would also bite them. So it's the same thing. Even though it's the deadliest cobra in Africa, they actually got actually not too bad of a temperament. And it's just showing you right here on the dunes, out here in the Western Cape wetlands, that even these cobras, and he's lived here for maybe eight years or so, is actually not as aggressive as they come across. He's just telling me, please leave me alone. I want to go on my mission hunting rats and rodents and living my years out here. And they can live up to 20 years comfortably. Now oh, a gentle rub on the back of its head, all along the spine here like this. You can see its breathing slowing down a little bit. This is not harming the snake in any way. It's just awakening a primitive instinct. I'm not using any force, just a gentle rub. Just a gentle touch all along the body. He's still got a hood, but he's almost down to that state of talent. It's just one last rub along here. And Africa's most deadly cobra is passed out. Look at that. He's out. He just made that massive hood try to bite me, go crazy by with a gentle approach, just touching him along the body. Kicks in that primitive instinct that tells him that he must play dead now. This animal has overpowered him. Truly amazing. Truly amazing. Africa's most deadly. And even give him a kiss. That is amazing. You didn't think you could ever do that with something this this venomous and this dangerous. So let's give you a tickle. Come, 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 come. There we go. Wake up. There we go. You arrive. Beautiful. Fully back. A beautiful Cape Cobra. See, he's not even striking at me at all now. It's almost like me and him have become friends. It's making the hood, but he's taking a nice little scratch on the back. It's really cute. You see there? He's almost become like a puppy. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. <laughs>